everybody, welcome back to Better Half. Um, no time has passed for me. I hope you remember what happened. They had some mushroom tea. Uh, I'm Dr. Seuss. You're welcome. <laughs> the next day, Vivian is messing up her spells, left and right. Ah, uh, focus, focus. So Lou is working on the project again. So what? That's up to him. And if that half-split doofus wants to help him, so be it. Okay, sorry. Even if it's exactly what I thought last time before Lacey. No, it's not my problem. Does that mean... Is, is Vivian also a split, do you think? Besides, I bet Lou is working on the potion just to get under my skin anyway. He even came around just to rub it in my face. I'm not playing his game. I don't give a rat's ass. Vivian is too frustrated to work on her spells, so she decides to clean up the store instead. One shift broom sweep later, a bunch of Vivian's merchandise goes crashing onto the floor. She had knocked them over by accident. Yes, but... Sorry, I burped. Case leg. Kalex. <laughs> yes, by accident, of course. Would be pretty stupid to do it on purpose. She stubbornly keeps cleaning for a few more hours. Those spider webs on the ceiling? Gone. Dust in the air ventilation system? Gone. Several hours later, the whole shop is sparkling. How satisfying. But Vivian isn't satisfied at all. Try as she might, she can't clean away the mess in her head. Fine. She rings Lua's doorbell. Just a second. And does it again. And again. And again and again and again and again and again. I heard you the first ten times you... Oh, what are you doing here? Thought you said I should drop by sometime. That was a lie. Goodbye. So are things with the potion? Good progress. Ah, I see. You've changed your mind. But it just so happens I have also changed my mind and I'm no longer willing to let you assist me. I was under the impression you were working on... Working on your own. But a little bird flies by and tells me you have another assistant. Fascinating. Goodbye. Lua attempts to close the door, but Vivian forces her way in. So would you like some coffee then? Hmm? Thank you. I'd love some. Lua slams the coffee pot on the table, like the passive-aggressive bitch he is. Half the coffee spills over the table. Enjoy. Thanks. Drink and leave. I guess this, this is... I guess this is your way of repaying my hospitality from last time. That is it? That's fine. Are you done yet? Because if you are, I'd like to talk like adults. If you're here to convince me to stop my research, don't bother. I'm not telling you not to work on it. I am telling you not to hurt anyone while you're at it. Fear not. I'm not hurting anyone. Bullshit. That guy, the Theo, he came over the other he came over the other day. You're using him as a tester, aren't you? He's got a big mouth, huh? So you admit it. What are you doing? You're gonna kill him. Ah, who cares? There's a spare for him anyway. That's besides the point. Keep this up and I'm gonna report you. Then why come here to announce your intentions? Oh wait, it's another of your empty threats. I have enough dirt on you to bur bury you in it. Go please, go right ahead. Oh, so please. I was like, go please, what does that mean? <laughs> so please, go right ahead, see what happens. I really don't know why you're getting involved in this. Did you just want my attention? Up yours. Was that all then? Okay, you know your no you know your way out. Fuck, why 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 all of a sudden I can't speak anymore? Take a water break. Energy drink break, whatever. Fuck it. And don't be so sad. I have good intentions, you know. I just thought what a shame it was to come this far just to drop our research. I'm sure poor Lacey would roll in her grave if I did. Shut up. <laughs> she was so dedicated to it, wasn't she? Shut the hell up, you scum of the earth. That's what this is all about, isn't it? Your redemption arc, is that what you're after? Oh, let me save this random suicidal lost cause and surely dear sister forgives me. 
I have not an ounce of guilt over what you did to her. What did I do? She asked to help out. She wanted to do it. Do you understand? Of course she'd want to help you. She was in love with you. Oh, she was? I had no idea. Again with this bullshit. You knew. You knew and figured, hey, now there's an easy target. Let me try to poison on her. Poison? Vivian, we both know it's not poison. It is poison in the state that it's in now. Fine. Did you ever stop to think that maybe she drank it to help you? To aid your precious research? After all, this potion wasn't even my idea. Don't spin this around. It's all your fault. I wasn't gonna make any. I wasn't gonna make anyone drink it until I knew it worked, except the rats. Poor little critters. You're such a monster. I. I don't want to hear that from someone like you. Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to hurt you. That's the biggest lie yet. <laughs> He's such a dick. I'm done. Huh? Oh my God, Vivian, you're here. I had no idea you. I would have come home sooner. What'd you say to Vivian? She was crying. I suppose she was just that happy to see you. Yeah, right. Why didn't you call me? I wanted to hang out with her too. Because I wasn't hanging out with her. He's being a dick. Yes, mage drama. Very interesting. But it has very little do to do with our hero, Theo. Does it? Theo has spent the last several days playing video games. Oh my god, again. How do you keep finding me so fast? You're looking at my screen. <laughs> I am not. You just suck at this game. No, you're looking at my half of the screen. Nope, you just suck. No, you're looking at my screen. And guess how I know that? Yeah? Because I'm looking at your screen. <laughs> well, maybe you're the one who's got all of our cheating attributes. Yeah, right. Go wait in the bathroom while I hide my character. <sighs> what a hassle. Let's just play something else. Oh yeah, now you want to switch. What a coincidence. No one likes a sore loser, you know. No one likes a cheater either. Which, by the way, you just admitted to being. You're a sore cheating loser. <laughs> Damn it, you're right. <laughs> That's sweet. There's nothing particularly funny about any of this. But the views are laughing like maniacs. If this was a group of friends, Theo would be the one constantly cracking jokes to make the others laugh. But everyone would just laugh to be polite. No one would think he's funny. Then he would go at it all day long, blissfully ignorant of how annoying he is being. Then Theo would not be invited to hang out again. But since there are only Theo's here now, he's having the time of his life. Anyway, my horrible self, how was the tea? Great, I think it's working actually. Like, I was panicking over something stupid earlier. Then I drank the tea and I was like, huh, maybe it doesn't matter if the neighbors think my door is ugly. <laughs> what do you mean? That's the only thing that matters in life. Especially since we have no control over it. Do you think I should go thank her? I suppose. I mean, she went out of her way to make me this blend. I suppose. So, I mean, I have to go buy more anyway. I suppose. You suppose and suppose. Can't you see I'm trying to make you tell me to go? I suppose. Oh, fine. I'll fine go. <laughs> I messed up the line. Tried to correct it and messed up harder. I don't even need your approval anyway. I suppose that my own approval is your approval anyway. Goodbye. Okay, but what the hell am I supposed to, to approve? What? Wait, what? What the hell am I supposed to approve here? That? I don't even know. Aren't you like the main Theo? I am? Yeah, so I can't just go around doing whatever I want with your life. Hold up, hold up. I'm the main Theo? No matter how you slice it, you have more of the qualities I'd consider to be the Theo. Really? Like what? Uh, misery? God, Theo is more than my misery. Theo was the person who existed before the misery came along. I'm just a disease or something. No. Explain. No. Well, aren't you helpful today? I don't know how exactly, but your logic is crap. Actually, the whole main Theo concept is a little crap. I can't believe you had such a crappy thought. Yeah, I'm pretty crappy. That's why you wanted to get rid of me, wasn't it? Oh my god. Okay, let's not go there. How about you go get some more magic tea? Fine. Actually, I take that back. Let's go there. Huh? I think we're doing pretty okay lately, aren't we? Uh, compared to what? Before we split. 
I'd say it's about the same, really. Yeah, think about that. Your depression is back to being just about the same, even though all the happiness was given to me and you hit rock bottom. So wouldn't that mean if we merge back now, we'd be way better off? But it's not like you want to merge back. Maybe I do, maybe I don't. Ugh, what a cop out of an answer. I'm gonna buy some tea. Good luck, you can do it, you're so brave. Ugh, condescending, so condescending. <laughs> Godspeed, main Theo. I'm not. I'm not the main Theo, right? Neither or both are, in my opinion. Gonna save again. That way, if we get a bad ending, I could quickly retrace my steps and figure out where where to, where to get a good ending from. Neither or both are. The existence of Theo ended the second we got split up. So either we're both him or neither of us is. This isn't even something we're thinking about. Yeah, that sounds about right. But I guess it doesn't really matter anyway. Wait, what? Did I skip something? No, I didn't. I want to merge back. Then everything will make sense again. Well, what doesn't make sense? Now you have a friend. I think that's a lot. Having the other with you around. I think that's a lot. Welcome. <laughs> Hi. Didn't expect you back so soon. <laughs> yeah, I have no life, so. Okay. Crap. Maybe announcing my loser status isn't a great conversation, sir. Um, I tried the tea. It was, yes, thanks. I'm sorry, what? It was, it, yes, it was good. Thanks for asking. I didn't ask, but okay. Glad to hear it. Mm, yep. So I guess you're here to buy some more? I wasn't, but I guess I am now. Y yeah, that's right. Here you go. Thanks. By the way, can I ask you something? Yeah? Why is the other you agreeing to drink poison? Oh, that. That's how we pay jerk face for splitting us up. Okay, but why? What do you mean, why? You told me the other week that there was no written contract. So why pay him anything? Wait, I can do that? Just not pay? Yeah, you can't prove you owe him anything. Much like you can't prove he screwed you over. So why are you paying him for screwing you over? Suddenly, Theo feels really, really dumb. I didn't think of that. Vivian's just really smart. Why am I paying him? Screw that guy. I don't know him squat. Exactly. He's nothing but trouble. If anything, he's the one who should undo this stupid spell. How do I sue this guy? I should report him somewhere. Er, well, maybe don't go that far. Huh? It, it's... I, I mean, the co that costs a lot of money, doesn't it? Suing? Ugh, you're right. I wouldn't even know how to get the whole process started. Oh, thank fuck. Well, don't you worry. I can try to help you undo the spell. I thought you knew nothing about band magic. Don't worry about that. Just stay away from Lua. I can figure out one half-assed spell like this. Double-assed. What? My ass got split in half, so now I have two asses. <laughs> I thought it was funny. It was a double-assing spell. Okay. Ah, screw you. Other me things aren't funny. It just didn't make much sense, that's all. Well, I'll tell other me what we talked about. Good, I'll start looking into lifting the spell. Thank you, and I guess, bye-bye? Bye-bye. Theo leaves the store happy. Sure, he made an ass out of himself yet again, but at this point he has done it so many times it doesn't really matter anymore. Was it always this clean in here? Yeah, I took the trash out. Oh, thanks. It looks all nice now, our room. Yeah, well, I hope it stays that way. Kinda sounds like you're blaming me. Kinda, I am blaming you. Blame away, I'm also blaming you for something. And that is? You're wasting our life force by drinking poison for no reason. Vivian said so. She told me that since there's no written contract, Lua can't really demand we pay him anything. So you don't need to eat poison anymore. And frankly, you fucking idiot, why'd you do it in the first place? Hey, someone had to pay. Apparently not. Vivian said she'll undo the spell for us. She just needs some time to figure it out. Yeah, well, I wonder what that's gonna cost. She's nice. I'm sure it's something reasonable. Yeah, she's so nice to us for no reason. I think we're getting scammed. A fine judge of character you are. You already got scammed by Jerkface. Twice. That's right. I'm learning from past experiences here. 
<sighs> okay, fine. But can we stop drinking the poison anyway? I'd like to merge back to a body with the organs still functioning. So, I guess it's just agreed now that we're going to merge back? It isn't? I don't know, is it? Yeah, I mean, I'm fine now, right? I thought you said so. I didn't exactly say fine, but I guess so. So now what? We just wait? That's right. We sit with our thumbs up our asses and wait. Or we could just ask Lua to merge us back. I'm learning from past experiences. You can shut the hell up. <laughs> Despite almost being smart enough not to, Theo goes to visit Lua. Oh my god! You just keep on dropping by uninvited. I won't be long this time. And didn't I tell you we can't make the next batch of poison next yet? About that. Me and I decided we want to merge back. Oh, you did, huh? So what? Well, I figured that if I'm getting the spell undone, I shouldn't have to pay for it. Sorry, no refunds. That's fine, I guess. You can just merge us back anyway. Well, as it just so happens, this setup works better for me. No one's gonna come knocking if you kick the bucket, you see. So no, I don't think I'll be merging you back. Oh. Well, it was worth asking, I guess. Okay then, it's been fun, but let's not hang out anymore. Alright, see you next week. Uh, no, I'm saying we won't. Excuse me? I think helping you out once was payment enough, so I wish you all the best and goodbye. Hold on a minute, my friend. You think that's up to you? You agreed to help me, and it's up to me to specify when the helping is done. Hmm. Nope. I think it's finished now. And if you don't like that, I guess you can take me to court. <laughs> so I guess that's that. Someone's feeling cocky today. Just what made you change your mind like this, I wonder? I just don't feel like dying anymore, I guess. No, of course not. That's the other you. Nope, he doesn't want to die either. You sure change your mind a lot, I see. And if you change your mind about merging me back, let me know. I wouldn't hold my breath if I were you. Okay, that's fine. You're not the only mage in town anyway. See you around. Bitch. Someone's in a great mood, I see. Do you ever just get an urge to rip someone's head off? Uh, because I do. I'm having it right now. Okay, I'm gonna go take my head elsewhere now. Can you believe it, that idiot what's-his-name? Who, Theo? Yes, I know for a fact that he has shit for brains. Why would he suddenly decide he doesn't want to help me finish the potion? There, there, don't be sad. And the boo-hoo sue me? Fuck you. Some dumbass is a dumbass. What? So what? I just don't appreciate being talked to like that. Who does this guy think he is? And who does he think he's talking to? How to curse his ass. Yeah, go for it. Speaking of petty curses, I bet Vivian. You bet Vivian what? You bet she's gonna get a piece of my mind. There's no way this isn't her fault somehow. Okay, whatever, just leave me out of it. Oh, oops, sorry. My, I guess my can had like a little indent in it, it just popped into place. Out of monster. It's probably for the best. I've been, whoa. Where has the time gone? Jesus. I've been drinking it since like 10, 10.30. It's 1.30 now. <laughs> and what was Vivian up to? She was busy reverse engineering Lewis' splitting spell. It wasn't going very well. What happened then? I don't know, I was unconscious. You didn't see him prepare anything beforehand or something? No, it was all very sudden. One moment I'm in midair, the next everything hurts. And then it's already morning and I'm two people. What about the other you? Does he remember anything? No. Hmm, this gives me very little to start off with. But you can still do it, right? Probably. It's just gonna take a little longer. How much longer? I'm guessing just a couple of years. Years? Uh, I thought this was gonna be all over in a few days or so. What on earth made you think that? Jerk face made it look easy. Of course it's gonna be easy if you already know the spell. <sighs> it takes a whole lot longer to start from scratch. 
And even then, it might not be a spell I can pull off. It's not even certain? No, though I'm pretty confident. I don't know if I'm gonna live that long. I'm sure you've got 30 or so years still. But I'm burning two lives at once. So I'll only have our combined leftovers once we merge. Yeah, sucks to screw up, doesn't it? Wow, thanks, that's really... Ah, oh, what are you doing here? Piss off, you extra. Wow. Wow, wow. Can I help you? I only take... I can only take so much of your shit, Vivian. I don't recall giving you any shit, seeing as I don't give a shit. Now that's some bullshit. Why are you so hell-bent on ruining my research? I told you I'll let you in on it if you want, so... I don't want in on it. Then why are you getting in my way, moral obligation? Oh, please. I don't owe you any explanations. And I don't owe you any more of my time. Come along, Theo. You still owe me quite a bit. Huh? Don't tell me you forgot. You haven't paid me for splitting your soul. O other me already told you. I don't need to pay you anything. R right, Vivian? Right. Right, right. Other you paid me already. But obviously, I'll be taking payments for both of you. But, um, Vivian said, It's awfully hypocritical of Vivian to expect me to dish out spells for free, isn't it? But relax, I'm not asking for anything as oh so horrendous as aiding me to cure aging. No, that would make our dear friend Vivian upset. Um, so what is it then? Well, that's what we're going to have to discuss. So come along. Um, Viv? Go ahead, you made a deal. You sure switched your tone fast? Just wash his dishes or something and that's that. Well, no wonder your shop is going under if your spells are that cheap. I'm taking into consideration how much of the other half paid you already. Uh, don't be so petty. You tell me about petty, Viv. Uh, what should I? Move, that's what. Lua drags Theo back home with him. So, uh, what now? Coffee. Would you like some? Not really. Weird. I remember you really liking it. Don't be so nervous. Let's figure out a payment, shall we? Go ahead, my friend. Suggest something. Um. Uh, hmm. Uh, I will save again. <laughs> I mean, we get so many save slots, might as well. I wonder what happens if we suggest nothing. I'll probably just suggest washing his dishes. Why not? Dishes. I don't think I have enough dishes to cover the cost. I could wash them several times, I guess. You're not nearly as funny as you think you are. The only joke here is the contract we're supposedly making. I wouldn't make an enemy out of me if I were you. Vivian is going to take quite a while to learn my spell. Sorry, putting on chapstick again. I know I did it a couple episodes ago, and that would be several days ago for you guys, but for me it was only a couple hours ago. And then perhaps a little longer still to reverse it. But are you going to lift the spell? I don't know. guess we're here to plan this all out. Then I want the other me here too. So you can plan with us. Let's not pretend like you're two different people. Then why do I need to pay twice? Ha! <laughs> ha! Yeah, jerk. Fucking get logic With your own logic, son of a bitch. Can we just sort this out already? Ugh, no. I need time. Yeah, no kidding. You're gonna age twice as fast. Is that how it works? I figured I'd just drop dead in my 40s. After I run out of soul fuel or whatever. Of course not, you're burning through your soul from both ends. So you'll age up and wither away at double speed. Nice. Another detail I wish I had known. And another detail you would have known had you asked. God damn it. This guy's such an asshole. Do you know what would help with your rabbit aging? Huh. What? The potion your self was helping me test. What a shame that project is dead in the water now. Oh. I honestly didn't think it would have taken me that long to figure out the rest. Unlike Vivian, I'm quite good at what I do. So imagine if the other you helped me out testing it. Hell, the next batch might even be the winner. 
Uh, excuse me, must be another customer. While Lua goes to ruin someone else's life, Theo reflects upon his situation. It, it doesn't add up somehow. Why would I age twice as fast? That doesn't make sense. Kind of feels like he just wants us to keep testing his potion. But what if it is true and I am aging at double speed? Oh fucking well. Oh fucking well, dude. It's only going to be, what, a couple of years? Say it takes her four years. You only have aged eight by the time you become whole again. Eight years is not that much. That's like just about how long me and my husband have been together. It's really not that long, especially in the grand scheme of things. It's not even an eighth of a life, eight years. Theo feels like he's heading to a trap or den of some sort. Like, sorry, back to the eight years thing of aging. If you look at an aging perspective, like if Theo was a child, which he's obviously not, um, then yes, eight years would look a lot different. But the space between, say like 25 and 35, I know that's 10 years, don't come at me, um, really isn't that much. It really isn't. Theo feels like he's heading to a trap or dead end of some sort, no matter what. He wishes he'd have brought another phone so he could call himself to ask his equally useless thoughts. Oh, I didn't know you were visiting. You were, uh, tall, and you're unlucky to you. Yeah, I sure feel unlucky right now. Oh, what's up? <sighs> I don't know. Your brother is an ass. <laughs> yep, he sure is. What's the matter? Maybe I could help you out. Probably not, unless you could merge me and my other self back together. Nah, sorry, my magic sucks so bad I gave up even trying. Thanks anyway. It's my own fault, I didn't think things through. And now even Vivian is saying to suck it up and just pay up somehow. You're friends with Vivian? I guess, or kinda. Oh, she say anything about me? No, sorry. Oh. I mean, we're mostly trying to undo this split spell. Really, Vivian is? Is that like a bad thing? God, am I getting screwed over by her too? No, no, I was just surprised she was willing to touch banned magic again. Haha. <laughs> again. Wait right here. Huh? Wait, what? Before Theo can even comprehend what's going on, Tal returns with a backpack. It's too small for whatever is inside, and the seams are just about to give. Okay, let's go. Go where? I'm waiting for Lua. Yeah, you're gonna wait a while. Come on. Tal leads Theo out right past Lua and some crying woman. Lua notices, but is too busy selling the woman his awful services. Theo wants to tell her to run for the hills and never to come back, but fears it's none of his business. Plus, it's not like he listened either when told to stay away. Theo finds himself back at Vivian's shop. Well, that was fast. What happened with... Hello, Vivian. Why are you here? I heard you dabbling with my brother's spell. Vivian gives Theo a quick glance. It's just half a second she manages to convey both disappointment, betrayal, and hatred. Well, it's not like she didn't, it's not like she was like, don't tell anyone. I, we were just chatting. Oh, this is Theo, sorry. I thought it was Vivian. Uh, obviously not though, the color's wrong. Uh, what was I gonna say? Like there are some things that are obviously, it doesn't have to be said that you shouldn't tell other people like when you're talking with your friends but that was not one of them in my opinion i had no idea i wasn't allowed to talk to you uh, talk wait what talk about you whatever don't be angry look what i have tal pulls out lewis spell book oh pulls lewis spell book out of her bag you can borrow this if you'd like why would you lend me this yeah it's not even hers to lend what do you mean, why? I thought you wanted to know about the splitting spell. I'll make you some hot chocolate if you like. Ah, oh, yes! Put marshmallows in it too. Okay, but they're pretty old. Sugar never expires. Theo stands around awkwardly. They're also made with gelatin, so. Theo stands around awkwardly. He feels like a complete outsider. Because he is. Soon there's hot chocolate and chit chat about magic. 
There's nothing whatsoever that Theo can add to the conversation. This is just like the group assignments back in school. I don't understand anything and nobody wants to talk to me. Uh, so hey. Sh should I go get the other me? Huh? What? If, like, we're gonna try the spell, he should probably be around for that. You want me to try the spell right now? I mean, we have the spell book. I'm just copying Lewis' notes. I still need to study it myself. Oh, okay. Then why am I even here? Should I just leave? I think we should try it now. It doesn't look that hard. Well, I'm not sure about this part about sewing the soul. It doesn't explain how. I don't know. A needle and thread? Feels a bit weird. Huh, you're still here? Uh, yeah. Are you going to get the other you? What? So we are doing it now? Um, yeah, I'll see you in a bit. <laughs> like, I get being anxious, especially socially anxious. That is super me. That's why I can started doing YouTube in the first place. I thought it would make me get practice being around other people. Not really. I'm still in more socially anxious than when I started. I don't go outside anymore. Um. But. The, the people around you are, are even bigger dicks than a normal average person. So it's got to be making him feel so much worse. You know, like if you're surrounded by people that are huge dicks, you would just always assume that everyone is a huge dick. But that's not true. So if there was just a couple people that Theo had that weren't awful, terrible people. Um, he, sorry, my mouse is making me upset. He probably wouldn't feel as anxious, you know? He'd, he would be able to realize that these people are just dicks. And that he shouldn't bother himself with them so as much as he does, you know? Anyway, Theo removes himself from the shop. The other two didn't even notice- Oop, sorry. The other two didn't even notice and keep on chatting happily. As Theo suspected, his input wasn't needed at all. Whatever, I don't mind at all. I'm not interested in some girl talk anyway. Poor boy. Hey me, you home? Welcome home. That's right, I'm welcome here. Yeah? Listen, Vivian is gonna undo this spell. Oh, she already figured it out? Don't worry about that, let's just go. As Theo puts on his shoes, the other feels a bit melancholic. Well, more melancholic than usual. What's up? Huh? Yeah, that stupid look on your face again. Up yours. I cannot my face look stupid no matter what. Something on your mind? It's just... The house is gonna get quiet again, that's all. Quiet? Did you not hear the party downstairs last night? The house, as in our apartment. My room. Oh. You mean after we merge back? Yes. I'm just happy you won't be hogging all the blanket anymore. God damn it, I'm trying to express something here, but all you care about is yourself. <laughs> you think too much. Come on, let's get going. Hmm. I'm gonna end it there. Thank you everybody for coming out and playing with me. I had a ton of fun. Uh, I hope you did too. Let me know. Maybe check out my merch, limited edition. Uh, ends July 15th. I know I mentioned it before, but I mentioned it again. Um, Probably we'll keep doing that until the 15th because I mean, it's never coming back. This is the one and only time. Could you imagine, you know, like four years from now, I have a bunch more subscribers maybe if people like me, I don't know. It seems presumptuous, but that's just how things work. You work hard for a long time, the more recognized you'll get. Anyway, even if it's just a hundred more subscribers, you'll have merch that none of them will be able to get ever ever that's pretty cool i bought myself too uh, a shirt and a sweater <laughs> eh. is that that's not narcissistic i think it looks cool it doesn't say captain laney on it anything like that whatever anyway i gotta go okay peace bye see you later bye